Sam Schmidt was a professional race car driver. Driving is in my blood. Until a brutal racing accident severed his spine, leaving him paralyzed from the neck down. I just rode off in my head like I'm never going to drive again. But today, Sam will face the track once again. He'll drive a car that's not just exotic, it's one of a kind. Sam can drive this car using nothing but head movement and input from his mouth. Called the semi-autonomous motor car, yep, the Sam car. Will Pickett helped create it. This is the type of project that I became an engineer to do. These are the types of big problems using technology to improve people's lives and do things that have never been done before. Keeping the Corvette's body and tweaking its mind. So the back of the car is really the brain of the whole operation. So that's actually what controls the steering, gas, and brake for us. We have our main camera PC that interprets all his head movements. We have a smaller sensor for gas and brake control that's connected to the tube in his mouth. That connects to Sam's new helmet. So the helmet's actually the new control system in the car. Mounted on the helmet are multiple markers that are IR reflectors that the cameras see. So as Sam turns his head, that's actually how he steers. Inside the helmet is a tube that Sam applies pressure vacuum to, like puffing out your cheeks. Positive pressure is gas, suction is brake. The team is raising their safety game with the full face helmet. If you know Sam, you know why. He's already pushing his car to the limit. Like racing up one of the most challenging twisty drives in the world, Pikes Peak. Go, 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 go. And being alongside legendary driver Mario Andretti. Racing twin Sam cars in Indianapolis. Sam won, as if you can't tell. We're just gonna pull the top off, one so we can load Sam in, and two also so we can calibrate. Okay, Grace, go ahead and start wanding for calibration. We are wanding to calibrate all of the cameras to themselves, so they kind of know where they are in space. It's looking good, get a little more towards the driver window. Wanding result is exceptional. Hold the ground plane up. So we're setting the ground plane, that way the cameras kind of know where they are relative to the open space. Please put on the helmet. Okay, we'll left, look right, back to center. Looks good. Sam will try the new helmet for the first time today. Howdy. We got you rigged for full face helmets. Everything's marked and ready to go. Running the car on a steep banked oval is also new, although Sam knows his track all too well. Kind of a full circle moment. I mean, last time I was here on this track, 18 years ago, in one month, for one race. He still travels the Indy race circuit, but now as a team owner. I would still rather be a driver than a team owner any day of the week. This is that day. Like home again. So I'm now attaching the pressure sensor for Sam's gas and brake control. At higher speeds, it adds a level of safety and fire protection. It just gives you, you know, one more layer of security. Another layer is Robbie Unser. Part of a racing family dynasty, Robbie used to compete against Sam. Now, He's here to help. Go ahead and start the engine. At the push of a button, Robbie can take over. If Sam lets him. That's what I'm talking about. With a quick test, Sam's raring to go. What can happen? Break my neck. Approaching turn one, I'm looking for what I would call my turning point, and then I will gradually turn my head to the left, and the car will just follow my head in the track, and it's 100% instantaneous. You guys are looking good. Take another lap. You immediately kind of turn to the right, because the car with the banking is going to want to go to the left. I'm in control. I'm driving. I'm steering this car. I'm accelerating this car. I'm braking this car. And the 
really isn't anything else in my life that I do right now where that's the case. As we've continued to improve the system, we are now actually starting to drive the car to its physical limits. And that way, Sam is very much a race car driver again. Brings back memories for sure. This technology is instantaneous. It's completely reliable. It feels great. So what's next for Sam? Well, <laughs> this car hasn't just revived the race car driver in Sam. He hopes it helps others who are paralyzed live their own normal. I know this technology can help uh, people go back to work and get out of bed every morning and have a, have a purpose in life. I think it re-inspired me as to what is possible. Mm -hmm.